definitely something swimming around here. I just walked down here to wade up to the islands and kept seeing a ripple from something. All right, well, like I just said, I'm gonna wade up to the islands and see if we can get on some more of those smallies I've been cruising around there. I'm gonna start with the Nico Bayou Sunset Leech, and then I also have another soft plastic I wanna give a, give a try. There we go, as soon as I hit the water, little guy. All right, well, that's a good sign. Got one so far. All right, one ding to start. Oh, I just had one. Yeah, look at that. Pulled my leech clean down off my hook there. All right, I'm sure this leech will catch more. I might switch back to it, but I really want to switch back to this other plastic. Well, I want to try this other plastic, which I'll show you here in one second. All right, well, here it is. Here's what I want to try. This is a little squid from uh, Nico. I actually tried them before, not this color. And I just have it paired on a North Branch Tackle sled jig. It's an eighth ounce, one knot hook there. These things smell like, I don't know. They just have a strong smell. It's not a bad smell. It's definitely a fish food type smell. So if the fish can't see it, I'll definitely be able to get a whiff of it. So I noticed as I was doing underwater footage there, this thing, because of the sled jig and its flat profile, kind of does like a swirl going down. So I'm thinking we might get a lot of bites on the fall with this one tonight. Oh, just missed one. He messed up my plastic. Yeah, he did. Didn't feel big, but it was definitely a fish. There we go. Threw it right into his mouth. Not a little medium size, I'd say. Nah, that's a dink. Either way, at least we're still catching fish. And they want that squid too. Go, another one this evening. I don't know, the fish just don't seem to be as active tonight. I don't know if it's because it's past the full moon a couple of days now. Oh, we're gonna stick it out, make a few more casts, and see if we can hook a decent one. So yesterday evening was kind of slow. I only got those two. I got the one on the leech and the one on the squid here. Today, got the work day done. Overcast. Actually, a rainstorm just came through, so I'm really hoping that it's got these smallies stirred up and moving around. But I'm gonna walk up here to the tip of the islands again. I think I'm gonna start at this one, but then I'm actually gonna wade over to that other one too. I'm still gonna throw around that squid, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can hook into a nice one. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I'm just feeling some good vibes right now. I think it's like I said because of these storms that are coming through. We're calling for a chance of rain. It's like 40% here in the next half hour. And like I said, we just had one come through. Probably rained for a good 20 minutes. There we go. Fish, first cast. I'm thinking this might be a good afternoon of fishing. Hopefully you can get past the little squeakers like this guy. There he goes. All right, well guys, it's another day out here. As you can probably tell in front of me and behind me, the river came up a good bit. It came up actually like two foot right now. Uh, maybe like a foot. But regardless, we got some rain is what I'm trying to say. So these fish should be a little bit more active and I'm hoping we can get up here to the island and 
maybe toss around some moving baits as well as that squid and get on some more smallmouth. But let's see what happens. All right, well, instead of that sled jig, I switched to this. It's like a compact eighth ounce it's a football head jig skirted, as you can see, by North Branch Tackle. We're gonna try that instead. Well, there goes that lure. I'm gonna try something else. Let's try moving bait. Oh, I got one. Is a bass? Nope, it's a ball fish. I switched to that underspin. I was trying to make this video about that squid, but I only have two of them, and I lost the one yesterday and lost the other one today, so. No more of that bait, but here's a, like I said, a fall fish on the underspin. All right, we're going to try the green pumpkin baby goat here. I have it on a 16th ounce or 10th ounce little Ned jig there. All right, I'm actually going to fish this left side here on my way down. There's a good chance there's going to be a smallmouth sending these little runoffs where this water's flowing through it's a good spot for bait to get washed down through is that a fish yeah it is oh man he was really shallow in that grass that's a decent one too i thought i was stuck on one of those blades of grass in there nope it's this guy pushed real shallow probably chasing minnows behind me. Come here, bud. You're the one we've been looking for. Here we go. First one of the evening. Actually, the species we're after. He said he was right tucked up against that grass. So I'm going to fish this grass on down through and see if we can get more. Thanks for the fight, bud. Whenever I made that cast, the wind's blowing up at me, so it kind of threw my lure into the grass, and I thought I caught a blade of grass. There's another one. So this little cut here should be a good spot. The wind blowing right into it. Little guy's digging. All right, another one for the night. There's one. These little guys just don't give up. Here we go, another one. But as you can see and tell, like I said, the wind is blowing up here. It's blowing all the bait and everything right in this area. That's something to also look for. You guys have that in your area too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be it for this video. I said I will be back out here probably tomorrow. I said I'm really thankful the water levels are coming up. So it should make the fishing a little bit better, but only time will tell. But until then, you guys stay casting, stay anchored. I'll see you guys soon.